And we're going to wrap up the Wednesday night Speed League 4 team roll-offs here with String 5. This was recorded at Ryan Family Amusements in Millis, Massachusetts on April 24th, 2024. And let's see where things stand for the uh, four teams as we go into the last string. So you'll see here that the detonators at 1427, they're actually 15 pins out of first place. We'll move on to the moose. With 1388 are actually a little further back. They're 54 pins back. This brings up Splitsville, who is in the lead with 1442. They have an eight pin lead over Prestige Worldwide, which is the Doucette Brothers, at 1434. Now, when I start rolling tape here, you're going to see that Splitsville and Prestige are starting on 21 and 22, while the matches that have already been recorded, Waters and Linehan are finishing up for the Detonators and Moose on 19 and 20. So just focus on 21 and 22 for the time being, and eventually things will catch up on the other side. So let's get this out of the way, and away we go. Doucette, 129. <clears throat> Justin Waters with a split. Diamond and one. Linehan leaves the Cubic Zirconia. Six pin diamond on that. On a spare too, that hurts. 68 for Rob though. What a rough break that was. Ah, uh, Justin takes the three, five, nine, now leaves the six. Linehan, oh my God. Linehan chops the three off of that? That is bleeping ridiculous. Uh, 10 bucks for Justin. Six box for Linehan. Rough break there for Rob at this point in the match. Okay, the Bullers, uh, Prestige Worldwide and Splitsville have started game five. Next game, everything's gonna be on the line. Jeff Doucette starts the game with a hammer, but he only got three on his first ball. Danny Finn with a 10. Waters, seven, eight, leaves a seven, 10 split. Linehan leaves a five, seven, 10 split. I like Rob's better. Rob's got some wood in there, it can help. Couple pieces. Justin's wood, I don't know. If anybody can make it, it's Justin Waters, though. Right now, uh, detonators are in the lead. Moose is in second. Linehan, what a bid. This gets one out of it. Eight box for Waters, uh, 94. A lot of splits for the detonators. Four for Det Klein in the second half, two for Justin. 83 for Linehan through eight. 19 for Finn, 24 for Jeff Doucette, including a seven fill and a hammer. Waters leaves another split, three, four. Linehan. Oh, no split for Linehan that time. 6'10 with a nice plank in front there, I think. Three. Uh, detonators having rough luck with the splits this game. Got a lot of the bowlers coming over near me watching right now. Oh, what a bid. Justin Waters did not go. Linehan with the spare. 93 in a ball. Danny Finn with a big nine drop. Lead is now 45 minus Rob Linehan's ball, 45. 45 pin lead for the, for the uh, detonators, but Linehan with the ball right now. Oh, Danny Finn misses a single. That is gonna hurt at this stage of the matchup. 10 box to set, 34. Okay. 
Beautiful bump from Waters, even the six pin. Linehan gets six. 39 pin lead for the detonators. Linehan, 99 to the ninth. Oh, Justin missed by the width of a freaking razor blade on that. But Linehan also will be open. All right. Chop for Danny Finn. 10 box from Waters, 114. 40 pin lead for the detonators going into the last game. 40 pins. Okay, Danny Finn right now going for a 10 box. Spare for Jeff Doucette, 44. Okay, 10, 10 box for Finn. 40 pin lead for the detonators right now. Coming into the final, game five. Splitsville is in third. Splitsville is down 65. Jeff Doucette, though, firing right now, 53 through four with a big spare opportunity for him. Danny Finn with a nine drop, big spare opportunity. Oh, Doucette misses, can't miss. In this situation, you want to catch the detonators, you're going to make all your singles. And Danny Finn did so. Forty-nine for Danny in the ball. Sixty-two for Jeff Doucette. All righty. Don Holmes with a big spare for Moose. Moose with seven. Seventeen for Don through one. Dan Shugothier mixing seven, eight. Seven, ten split for Shu. Don Holmes will be open though. Mike Capone will be open. Shu, what a bid does not go. Doucette will be open. Eight box, John Doucette. Ten box, Mike Capone. Ten box, Holmes. Ten box, Shu for 20. First time ever, four, four lanes at once commentary. Do I want to do it again? Probably not, but it's, yeah, it's, it's rough. Capone off head pin, leaving four. John Doucette misses on the split. Don Holmes coming to life, here comes the moose. The detonators look to find some more C4 to explode here in the final game. 18 for Doucette for two. Dan Shu got their big spare for the detonators. Been a rough couple halves for them. Get that mark, get the momentum going their way. 30 in a ball. It's coming down to the wire. Seven drop for John Doucette, but it's a split. Three, seven, ten. Two fill for Shu. Got that blister. Don Holmes with six so far in his hammer. Don Holmes gets a nine out of it. Gets three the hard way, taking out the uh, six, seven, ten. Shu makes the half blister again. That's twice in this match. 42 in a ball. 10 box, Don Holmes with his best half so far. 56 half. Getting hot right when his team needs it. Capone with a 10 box. 
John Doucette with a spare. 28 in the ball. As we're in game five right now. Two with seven on his foe, 49 to four. Don Holmes misses his spare, he's open. Great, three in a row for Dan Shugothier. What a match he has had. To me, if this was a hockey game, Shu would be getting the first star right now. Kyle Hetty the second. Third star, I'd have to go Jason Doucette. Dan Gothier pulling great here for his team. Capone unloads in the pocket, leaving a 5-9. Kyle Hetty starting his final game. Leave it a 2-5. Oh, Capone chops. Did not need that right there. He'll be open. Doucette, 47 half. Capone at 46. Oh, wow. Debt wobbles it. It doesn't go. All righty. Here we go. The announcing marathon here. It's winding down for me. Kyle Hetty in the pocket. How did that seven pin stay up? Okay. Dead Klein, light in the pocket, leaving a uh, four seven ten with a nice piece of wood there. Kyle will be open for two. Jason Doucette starts his game with a mark. Dad hits the cap, does not go. Dennis Green is open. Kyle Hetty will be 18 through two. Dennis with a 10 through one. Dad 19 through two. Kyle Hetty, nose dive. Rough at this point of the match, it's a 159. Doucette with a five, washout. Dett with a six split, 2479. Kyle Hetty leaves up 234, he's open. All right, Chip. Oh. <laughs> Spare for Dennis Green, that is huge. 10 box for Doucette. Twenty-five through two for Jason Doucette. Kyle Hetty in the pocket. Another split for Hetty. Four, seven, ten again. Dead one, five, nine. Dennis Green now with the three and two. It's split city here in the championship match.
Kyle will be open. Doucette will be open. Dent makes a good bid, but he's still got four up. Dennis Green will be open. There's a lot of open boxes right now, which is very advantageous for the leading detonators team. But once again, that is unofficial. There's been, I've heard discrepancies being discussed between the bowlers. 36 for debt through four. Kyle Hetty, 36. Kyle Hetty, pocket hit, leaves a four, five, seven. God, man has got no breaks at all this half. Horrific. That climb seven eight, leaving a split. Three ten. Kyle Hetty misses. Three straight splits for Hetty. Three straight splits for Deck Klein. And then now a split for Dennis Green. Two in a row for him. And Deck goes in the hole. And what a spare, Jason. No, it's a ten box. That is, I think, a spare for Jason Doucette. Okay. Justin Waters coming up for game five. Has this rubble in the hand. Nine box, green. 43, Dennis Green. Oh, I'm going to be very happy tomorrow night to be doing one match, two bowlers with two announcers. Ugh. Justin's team now leads by five and a ball. Okay, the new official score is detonators are five pins and a ball. This is going to be tight. Dennis Green, rough time there for a uh, spread eagle. Spare, Jason Doucette, 16 a ball. Uh, so so. Prestige Worldwide has moved up to third. They're up one pin right now. Make it four pins as Dennis just left uh, three on the deck. Rob Linehan with a nine box. Justin Waters with an eight box. They're up four pins, any ball right now. So Moose still in second. Yeah. What a match. Danny Finn puts a uh, seven in his spare. Justin off a little bit to the left, leaving four horsemen with a nine pin. Linehan back to back splits. Minus three on that. Oh, that's rough for Robbie. He lost it in the gutter there. Seven box. Oh, how did that not go for Justin? What a bid. Okay. Jeff Doucette is open in the sixth. I am Drew Steele. We're here. Wednesday night triples championship being recorded here by Mike Amparato. Prestige and uh, Splitsville are in a big duel for third. Justin Waters now has increased the lead. Back up to five pins. As him and Linehan duel. Linehan light in the pocket, leaves a split. Horrific. Two, five, six, ten. Waters, oh, how did that not go? But beautiful nine drop. This is it, basically. Did not sweep for Linehan. He'll be open. Justin Waters with a big spare there. They're up five now in two balls at the minimum. 
make it six and two balls. It's all between detonators and moves for the championship right now. Detonators are up six and two balls. And it's very close for third place between Prestige and Splitsville. Eight, two balls? Yep. 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 All right, five for Rob Linehan. Stepped on my own cord like an idiot. Um, <laughs> Waters gets eight out of it. Big break. 16 pin lead for the detonators. And they got Dan Gothier's fill ball still. Beautiful spare clutch. Rob Linehan makes the Kaliri. Okay, Waters needs an answer here. Waters gets the answer. 16 pin lead, fill balls for each. Bob is going to give us an update on uh, the prestige Splitsville battle for third place. Nine drop for Danny, six drop for Jeff. Rob Linehan, strike on spare. Oh, that could cut into this lead a little bit as they were down 16. Justin Waters, oh, what a bad break, 5 7 10. They're still up 13, though. Dead Danger's up 13 right now. They do have a fill ball for Gothier, but Linehan has two coming up when he bowls. One oh three, Danny Finn, 95, Jeff Doucette. Danny Finn with a big nine drop. Justin with a seven box. 10 pin lead right now for the detonators. All right, second half last game. Very tight between uh, the detonators and Moose right now. But it's a 10 point lead for the detonators, 10 pins. <laughs> 104, Jeff Doucette as he finishes. Danny Finn, 113. Big, big nine, big nine fill for Dan Gothier. Puts the detonators up 19 right now. Rob Linehan will have a two ball fill as he finishes his match in a little bit. 115 for Danny Finn. Dan Gothier with the spare, four in a row. You want the number one star of the match, it's Dan Gothier. It's not really close. He has been phenomenal. Don Holmes with a 10 box, 76 through six. Capone with six. Okay, I'm concentrating more on what is going on on the other lanes. Capone for the spare does not get it. Doucette with the six. Dan Chukothier, five marks in a row up bowling. 93 in a ball. Eight marks, okay. He's up 19 with the spare fill, 24. Okay, right now, uh, detonators are up 26. Gothier with a fill ball. Detonators, seven, eight. Make it 34 right now for the detonators. Dan Gothier putting on a show, 101 through seven. 
Don Holmes with a split five, eight ten. John Doucette, good first ball, even a four seven. A six seven split for Capone. Here's Gothier for six in a row. And he makes it, Dan Gothier. Six in a row, 111 in a ball here. It's not left any pins on the deck this game. Open for Don Holmes. Don Holmes in the eight box, 92. Thirty-six up right now are the detonators. Dan Gothier just eight nine would go, oh, man. Make it a forty-five pin lead. Don is off a little bit. Dan Gothier saying, "Load the darn wagon, I'll carry you." What bowling by Dan Gothier today in this match? No. That'll be a miss, 129. Don Holmes, though, needs a big out here. Okay, it's an out. 46 pin lead for the detonators right now. Uh, I stand corrected, 56 pin lead for the detonators. Dan Shoot got through with six marks in a row. What bowling tonight for Dan. Okay, it's an eight drop, leave it a 110. Don Holmes, one, two, seven, eight. John Doucette, 73 through eight. Mike Capone, 75. They're dueling for third place. The big matchup is right here on 19 and 20. Dan will be open. Don Holmes just slightly chops these a two pin up. Okay, we're getting down to the nitty gritty. 56 pin lead. Linehan though has two bonus balls. So making it a 46 pin lead. 45 pin lead right now for the detonators. Two halves of bowling to go. Linehan with a bonus, bonus ball against. Dan shoot got there, 138. Okay. Capone on a spare fill, 82 for John Doucette. Uh. All right, Depp with a half booster takes out the 2 8. Game five, this is the end. The detonators looking for a championship. Uh, show. did you guys win the championship a couple years ago? Kyle Hetty will be open. Debt climb with a 10 box, 56. Appears to be a 56 pin lead right now for the detonators. But Linehan will have that fill ball. So that makes it actually 46. Debt in the nose. One five nine off the deck. Kyle Hetty in the nose breaks it up. Two four seven left for Kyle. Kyle Hetty though with four splits this game so far. Debt also with four. Spare Kyle Hetty huge for Moose right now. That's going to cut into this lead. That's in the 50s. 
Okay, 53 pin lead for the detonators. Kyle with a fill ball. Though. Strike on spare, Jason Doucette. As his team is down 27 for total right now. 27 for third to Dennis' team. Dat, six, seven, eight. Okay, big break for Dat there, leaving a four, eight. Kyle with another split. Uh, the 70 through seven. That cuts the lead down to uh, 47. Dat gets it. 73 and a ball for that climb. Kyle Hetty will be open. Pretty much the whole way, detonators have been in the lead or very close, and they built a big lead up. Dan Shu got there with some impressive games of 145, 146, and 138 tonight. Kyle Hetty with a seven box, 77. That's gonna boost that lead back up. Right now it's 50 and a ball for that. And Dett gets six, seven, eight, nine. Almost a backdoor strike for Dett there. That makes it 59 right now. Kyle's in the plus mark. Yeah. So, Splitsville and these guys are just moving in. Number, but it, it's going to be somewhere in the area of 30, 40 pins. That, that, uh, has to get, depending on how they finish. All right. So they're ahead. They're ahead by a like four boxes. They, they have, they've been rallying, and we will we'll be informing you before you okay. the final bowl. All right. There's going to be a scoring update by Bob Lee in a minute, but uh, 16 57. Once again, I'm Drew Steele. We're here. This is the championship. Wednesday night, Triple League, Triple League, one of the best leagues in the state. Ryan's Family Amusements in Millis. Right, right. 92 and a ball for Dat. Dat in the nose, 96 against Spread Eagle. It is five pins right now. Okay, there's discussions. Once again, our scores are not official. There's been more discussions that the handicap is a head-to-head -head situation, but. Spare, Kyle Hetty, 96 and a ball. We're gonna see how it is. Okay, once again, I can only, uh, as an announcer, use the, the information that I'm seeing. We have had corrections and stuff, so. 102 for Dat. Kyle Hetty finishes up with 98, but he had a great night of bowling tonight. Dennis Green with a hammer.
Jason Doucette with a big game. Justin Waters leaving a 6 7. One forty-two for Jason Doucette. Linehan going for a spare on a strike. Good 10 there for the hand, 72. 70. 41 pin lead, it appears to be for the detonators over Team Moose. But I've been told that we were gonna get the official score a little bit later from Brian Fournier. Okay, eight for Justin, seven, 10 split. Linehan leads up a triangle, four, seven, eight. That is three splits in a row for Justin Waters. Eight. Linehan is open. Waters trying to get one here. And, uh, oh, almost makes it, wow. Waters wins 48 in the last three. Who's in the lead? Right now, he's 49 in the last three boxes. The handicaps, oh, dismissed. We found out that the handicaps were only relative to the team you were bowling against on the lane. Which means the detonators are ahead on Team Moose, but the handicaps were not related to the other two teams bowling. Okay, Waters needs right now uh, 40 pins, the last two boxes for the win. Waters in the pocket, another split. This pick. Linehan with six. Was pair just waters, okay. Okay. Right, right now, waters needs a strike spare to win. Justin, eight. That is going to do it. Does not make it. Who won? Uh, Splitsville? 
Splitsville are going to be your 2023-24 uh, triples champs. We again, to the fans, we're sorry. We were not. The handicap on the lanes were between the two teams. We did not have the differences between all four teams. But first place, Splitsville, who's second place? Prestige were wide in second. Detonators in third, and last place will be the. Uh, Alrighty, so what I'll do is I'll let that run in the background. I'll pull the volume down just so that we don't have any competition for what's going on there. And let's bring up some stats. <clears throat> so the detonators finished with 1,784, powered by Dan Gothier's 640. Uh, shortly behind him, Justin Waters with a 614, Det with a 530. Justin's splits may tell the story. Uh, Dan had 12, Det had 16, Justin had 24. Strikes were 4, 0, and 5 across the board. Spares 19, 13, and 13. Tens were 10, 12, and 20. And all of the bowlers pinned exceptionally well. Gothier only leaving 23 pins on the plate. Debt 42, Justin 19, and we will move over to the Moose, who brought up the caboose with a 1731, despite Kyle Hetty throwing a 586, Rob Linehan a 538, and Don a 462. Um, the head pins and splits weren't really too brutal for them. They were kind of consistent. 12, 16, 17 across the board. Two strikes for Don, three for Kyle, two for Rob. Three spares for Don, 17 for Kyle, 11 for Rob. 15 tens to 17 and 10 for Kyle and Rob. Pins were a little different story with Don leaving 67 on the plate. Kyle leaving 37 and Rob leaving 48. We'll move over to the winners by a single pin with a combined 1793. It is Splitsville, which ironically enough on a night filled with splits, were probably the team that got the fewest. Dan only had two the whole night. Capone 16, Dennis Green 15. Looking at strikes, it was three, then one, then one. So Dan Finn championing the strikes for them. Spares, Dan had 12, Mike 10, Dennis had 19. For tens, it was 11, 19, and 13. And pins left standing, they were all pretty much in the same ballpark. Dan leaving 38 en route to his 550. Mike leaving 37 for his 536. And Dennis leaving 33 for his 592. And that leaves Prestige worldwide losing by just a single pin. So we'll start with the pins left on the plate, just to rub it in a little. Jeff left 57, John left 51, and Jason led 29. Two of those pins is the difference between winning and losing. That said, they did have their troubles with split. Jeff's had 14, John 16, Jason 10. They were definitely throwing strikes. Jeff had four, John six, Jason six. Spares were nine, uh, eight, and 14 down the line. And then eight, 11, and 14 tens for those guys. Obviously, Jason leading the way with a 619, John with a 539, and Jeff with a 529. But that's how Millis ends it. So we'll bring up the champs as we close out string five. And I thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you next year. Take care.